<laughs> I have this foot with no, it's not attached to any person. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs>so I have a really good example here of uh, how the muscles of the lower leg affect the foot and specifically the plantar fascia. So this client who will remain un unnamed um, is a triathlete and she was just sharing that her massage therapist did a lot of work along her inner shin, her posterior tibialis muscle, and a lot of work around the inner ankle where the posterior tibialis muscle attaches down in here to the bottom of the midfoot. Um, her description was after he worked on that, she had a lot of relief along the longitudinal arch of her foot and along her plantar fascia. It took a lot of stress off of her plantar fascia. And the way I kind of explain this is because posterior tibialis is one of the main supporters of the arch, one of the main supporters of the ankle and the midfoot and the arch, it's sort of like your built-in orthotic. Um, when it's doing its job, it maintains a nice contour to the arch and thus it keeps stress off the plantar fascia by keeping it from lengthening, which is what happens when the foot pronates and the posterior tibialis doesn't have control. Um, so by releasing the posterior tibialis and improving its function, the, the plantar fascia can do its job without being over lengthened and everything tends to feel better. So this is just one way in which uh, this plays out in uh, the, the feet of athletes. So I have this foot uh, that... <laughs>